Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to the next mission match. It's going to be a series of extra matches, starting with a game between Sacktalt and God. Isn't that familiar? So we'll just begin with that then. So, God starting out in the lower left corner of the map, playing amphibious spots. This is on Sands of War, by the way. As you can see, a very, very water focused map, very island focused map. Not too great for land, definitely great for sea. Sacktalt opening up with sea, opening up with ships. And God, like I said, opening up with amphibious bots. Hasn't gotten any metal extractors yet. He has four on his island, while Sactoth also has four, though Sactoth has actually taken some of his. This is a very reclaim heavy map and not a great map for metal. As you can see, not a whole lot of metal extractors, a lot of space between them. But. And. Oh! An early duck from God actually doing a pretty good job getting some damage onto Sactoth Skeeter. This one should finish it off, and there it goes. Sactoth Skeeter. Only got to see what God was up to with the amphibious bots. He does not know what God is doing inside his base, which actually isn't that much. He is getting metal, getting early three metal extractors, but after his fa well after his factory actually looks like he did some reclaim first. While Sactoth went much earlier for getting his metal extractors and getting a quick power upgrade. Well, should say power plants here, trying to get some overdrive on the metal extractor here, and a duck taking out one of his metal extractors. Sactoth. Trying to get a torpedo frigate up to get rid of these ducks before they get on land, but it's been a little bit too late. Losing the second metal extractor, Sactoth starting to chase off the duck with his me his con, level one con, as is God's though. Both of them energy cell and beam laser. Nothing unusual with that play at all. Now Sactoth does have his hunter out. He can start getting the previous boss if they go into water, and they have started going to water. One of the ducks goes down in one shot. That hunter. Managed to do his job. Basically paid for itself, actually. Ducks are... Sorry, it didn't pay for itself. What am I saying? It's going to have to kill three, two more ducks to pay for itself. Ah, I was silly. But yeah, two more ducks get in the water. It hits both of them. It'll have paid for itself. At this point, however, Sactoth is having to rebuild. He did keep his metal extractor here alive, which is good for him. And he still has quite a bit of reclaim, so his metal income is not that much in jeopardy. God, on the other hand, is actually moving out. Looks like he's going over to... When he's going over to this island here, probably en route to the center south island, setting up a defender just for defense, but mainly probably going to be going to this island over here. And continuing to build his metal economy going up. While Sactoth, on the other hand, does have a weaker metal economy from metal extractors, but he is reclaiming a lot more than God is. Now, God just starting to build a power infrastructure outside of his E cell commander, and he is actually, he has sent a clam up to the north, so he. Once again, he is definitely ahead for static metal economy. Even if he hasn't used as much reclaim, he has still used up some reclaim, and he has still a much healthier economy, much more stable economy overall. So Sactoth looks like he took some damage from that harassment, and that is a bit difficult to deal with, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't cripple him completely at this point. He is, however, behind by about four metal income. So it'll come down to how well he's able to take on the sea. Because the thing is, he does have the sea pretty much in the bag. The thing is, ducks can't easily go underwater without the hunters just killing them. And it's getting a crusader up as well. This crusader, once it gets built up, will be able to just tear apart any island it comes nearby. Come over to God's main island, just destroy all of his infrastructure. Go Could go over here, get rid of his commander, and just stop this expansion attempt entirely. This would be a slightly... Hard, well... This would be slightly harder just because the ducks are in the way. The hunters can take care of them, but... Ducks are hard to spot. If the hunters are close enough, and this hunter is going to be able to get rid of this duck pretty quickly. There it goes. That duck is gone. So one duck gone, the other duck going north. Looks like it is going to be just double checking this island here, making sure nothing's over there. But it is going to, it's going to intercept the Crusader. From the looks of it, the Crusader will be getting out, and it is going over to the western island. Saktos going to go for God's less defended expansion, and is trying to go after the duck here. I don't... Well, it can get rid of the duck, it can damage the duck, but it is putting itself at great risk to do so. And there goes the depth charge! And the duck taking half damage, this is nowhere near as effective as the hunter is. The hunter, as we saw, one-shots ducks. And the duck is doing a number on the Crusader, got it down to two-thirds health. I think Sakna had the right idea in the first place. But it looks like he is trying to make sure he can defend this his shipyard, rather than going for God's expansion. The duck is obviously trying to deal Unit some damage to it. Attack. So if he gets rid of that duck with his crusader, that will be effective. That'll definitely be worth doing. 
but if he loses the Crusader, that's going to be extremely painful. And his commander, going over to the north, will be able to take care of that expansion. God has successfully expanded to the west here, by the way. He's also expanded quite nicely to the south, and getting hovercraft as well, so now we have surface and underwater attack capacity. And God right now has... He's got 50 metal income, mostly from Reclaim, but even without Reclaim, we see he has a stable approximately 25 or so. In no small part due to... Well, actually... No, actually, it's not at all due to the overdrive here. He just... Let's see, metal extractors here. All these metal extractors are on about two metal income, but still, he is pretty healthy for economy, and he is taking advantage of that with a bunch of scrubbers to get rid of the hunters. The hunters will not be able to do much against them, and the crusader going for that siege. It's doing a pretty good job sieging off this island, but unfortunately, getting a bit distracted by trying to kill the duck. Let's see, if Sackdoth, he should have... No, he has no radar here. He has line of sight. He can get rid of the duck has just done so but the crusader why is the crusader not attacking it should be able to it should be able to hit just fine might not have line of sight as much as i thought it did there it goes now it has line of sight now it's going for it Unit. going for metal actually okay, going for the duck once again and sackdoth has taken out the northern expansion but god this is more important is going for sackdoth's main tearing apart everything sackdoth has and sackdoth is seeing a small problem in his plans right now this Typhoon should help out a lot, however. It's going to be able to take care of most of these Scrubbers, but unfortunately, the Scrubbers have taken care of most of Sacktoth's base at this point. And the Ducks are coming in for additional support to get rid of this Typhoon from below. And the Hunters are nowhere to be found, out of the way, trying to avoid the Scrubbers completely. This Typhoon is going to go down in a few shots. It should be able to take care of some of the Scrubbers, but it won't kill them all. It won't kill most of them, even, at this point. There goes that Typhoon. The Crusader down as well. A second Typhoon to come up to help out. And this hunter trying to do what he can against the ducks. The scrubbers are out of the way. The hunter will have some chance, but unfortunately the ducks just got out of the water, so that's not going to work out. Torpedo jumped out of the water, but not quite able to hit that duck. While the Typhoon able to deal with the, hunt the scrubbers without the ducks in the way, which is good for it. But even then, there's still a lot of scrubbers to deal with. And of course, God continuing to build more and more of them. He has got about 30 build power pushing into this one factory. Admittedly, he only has 23 metal income, so he's running a bit of a deficit, but regardless, he is spamming those scrubbers, and it has paid off. Sagtoth setting up a slight defensible position up north, but it's not going to help out at this point. He is, he is about to lose everything. This area is going to be hard to get to for hovercrafts, but not impossible. The scrubbers are able to get up there slowly but surely, and Sackdoth about to lose his commander, probably just going to throw in the towel, just going to surrender outright. And there it goes, the scrubbers finishing up the windmills before they go for Sackdoth's commander. And there it goes, Sackdoth loses everything, well one last windmill, and then that is game. Whew, well that's... So yeah, in case you're wondering, there actually is a sea rebalance project that is ongoing, because sea is a bit of a weird beast right now. Although, that actually didn't look too bad. That looked like it was a pretty interesting game. But, in case you looked at that and thought, Man, C is just so weird with the way hovercrafts and amphibious bots and ships interact. You're right, it is. So, that is something being worked on, in case you're curious. But, for now, that is how C game works out at this point. That was a, that was a really good high-level C game. So, I will have another match shortly. It'll be between... Let's see. The Ikins and the Sponge on Deadlands, so stay tuned for that.